Lovely. Keely and I have just been chatting about proms, but actually I think we're a bit old for that now. This is more our scene, isn't it? A bookshop on a barge. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, they look lovely in the, in the prom dresses. Oh, I was never do. as fancy at school, though. Well, we never had proms. I think it's quite a new thing, isn't well, it? Well, I grew up in Grimsby, so there's no chance of a, no chance of a prom Well, I was there. a Wakefield girl, so well, obviously things have changed there. <laughs> absolutely. Um, it's been a bit of a dreary day, but it was a lovely start to the day. Just take a look at these couple of pictures. There's two here. They're of the sunrise this morning and they're both really vivid, lots of oranges and reds. And that's because we've got lots of particulates in the air from Canadian wildfires. I'm going to do a bit of an explainer online on the social media pages, um, probably for tomorrow. Uh, but they really are some lovely pictures. So if you have been taking any uh, pictures or if you're up and about early doors tomorrow, please send them in. We've got the website there, the BBC Weather Watchers, or you can send them directly to me. I'm on social media uh, at Keely Donovan or Keely.Donovan. Uh, so we are going to see a bit of an improvement tomorrow, but it is looking like a warm and humid day. And actually, this coming night looks like it's going to be a bit of a stuffy one uh, as well. A bit more brightness tomorrow, but equally there could be an afternoon shower as well. And I think it'll stay humid until tomorrow evening. This cold front's going to push through. And behind it, clearer, fresher conditions uh, through Thursday. Friday, we'll see things clouding over from the west uh, before a band of rain. And at the moment, it does look like it's going to be pretty de decent for the weekend, particularly on Saturday. So this is the satellite picture from earlier. Uh, a lot of cloud. We've still got some outbreaks of rain and drizzle across parts of North Yorkshire. That'll clear away. And it, it looks like a, an uncomfortable night for, for some temperatures. Not really dropping away uh, very much lower than the daytime values, only getting down to around 16 or 17 degrees. So a warm and humid night to come. Let's have a quick look at those high water times all at around midday tomorrow at uh, 10 to 1 in Bridlington. So tomorrow, uh, quite a bit of cloud in the forecast, but I think we're in a good spot, particularly away from the hills, to get some bright or sunny spells. We'll also see a few showers creeping in from the west through the course of the afternoon. There could well be uh, the odd heavy shower uh, about, uh, even the odd rumble of thunder, and it will feel quite stuffy and humid through tomorrow as well, with temperatures up at around 22 or 23 degrees. Overnight into Thursday, a band of rain sinks southwards. That'll clear the air. Uh, on Thursday, it'll brighten up with some sunshine. Clouding over on Friday, not too bad for the weekend. I'm going to get hate mail from Grimsby. People now from Grimsby, aren't I? <laughs> or from people going to proms. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The weather's nice, though. You won't be getting those expensive dresses all.